you and we're here how you doing welcome to another one so oh i, I need to look at you instead of um looking at myself anyway welcome to another video today we're unboxing the american muscle cars as i talk to you with this car in my hand anyway so yes we we recently found the american muscle didn't even know hot wheels was putting this out so what we're gonna do we're gonna unbox them we're gonna have a good time we're gonna talk about things so uh yeah let's uh go to the cars first off we're gonna go with <clears throat> this bad boy yes everybody look at this the card arc is beautiful the car is beautiful i like this yellow on here this this ford fairlane it's from 1966, 427. We're gonna open it up, and we're gonna see what this bad boy looks like. Yes, I'm sure I want to open it up. Oh, okay. Well, we have the peanut gallery here today, folks, <laughs> and they are talking in the background. So, and I'm having a hard time opening this. So, we're gonna figure out how uh, we're gonna do this easily, along with the peanut gallery. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, you know, hope you find these cars in your area. We're going to see, hmm, okay, so, uh, here we go. This is it. It's Ford Fairlane. That's sexy. You got the front, if I can, got a little too much light on it, but the color on it, underneath. It's all metal. It's actually uh, all metal. Rolls nice. Huh. I like this Fairlane. It's not bad, folks. Next, we have this. It's going to be the Mercury Cougar. Now, my favorite first cousin, uh, his name was Reg. He used to have, he used to buy nothing but Mercury Cougars. So, a Cougar kind of sits pretty well in my, in, in, in my mind. Brings back some good memories. He didn't have a 69 though. He had a, he had a 80, I want to say 82 or 83. And then he had another one before that. But um, yeah, didn't have a 69, but if he did, it'd probably look as cool as this Mercury Cougar. Look at this. Look at the back wheel, folks. That back wheel is beautiful with the front. And you got the, the back of it. You got the scoop on the hood along with look at that guys that's what's up right there the inside the back beautiful man this this thing it's not as fast as the fairlane but I like the fact that they are all, I mean, it's actually plastic. It looks like it's die cast on the, on the bottom, but it's actually plastic. Um, huh. Interesting choice that, uh, that Hot Wheels did right there. Next, we're going to move right around to 67. Yes, Mercury Cougar. The, so, this is a 68. Sorry. The other one was a 69. This is a 68. Um, I love the paint job on this, folks. The, the blue one here is beautiful. I love the stripe. Look at this, folks. Look at this muscle, man. The back. This one's one of my favorites so far. This really is one of my favorites. I like the yellow one. Peanut Gallery again is uh, showing up to the, to the chat, folks. So yeah, this uh, this one look you, you have the they actually have the 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 blower the Ram Air, however you want to call it. I'm used to being called the Ram Air from the from the TAs I used to love from from the 90s, but um, blower. yes, a blower, and it's got the you actually can see the exhaust on the sides, which I think are really cool. But um, the wheels on this. Don't know how I feel about those. But yeah. It's a nice little Mercury Cougar from 69. With a blower. Yes, with a blower. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we're going to go to this Ford Mustang Coupe. Now, um, I mean, it's a Mustang. You know, love the card art and everything. It's a Mustang. Um, 
Growing up in my area, they said that it was a poor man's uh, sports car. Now, I mean, I, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying where I grew up. That's what they used to call it. Um, Mustang is uh, really big in everyone's hearts. I knew when I was a kid, I wanted to have uh, one of the 5.0s because I had a uh, I had a cousin that had a 5.0, and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. I really did. Uh, it was one of the Fox bodies, and whew, man, it was so nice. This one actually feels nicer in the hands than the other one so far. It's got a little heft to it. I like the wheels on this. Look at this. The wheels are nice. The front grille's painted. Not as much uh, the the chrome detail on the other ones, but this one you can actually see all the inside of it. The stripes are good. You got that Hot Wheels badging on the back. And uh, not too many details in the back, but uh, you've got the fat wheels in the back, which was a... Uh, was a big thing having to oh this one rolls nice huh this one's ready for the track folks this one's ready for track that's pretty nice all right we're moving right along folks we have a 69 dodge charger look at this folks this charger right here i love the coloring on it the card art's really nice too now the charger I was, I'm a fan of the Daytona, so, and they have made the new chargers, kind of like the pseudo Daytona, but um, this one right here, dude, it's not as heavy as the as the Mustang, but you got the those wheels that, that look pretty, I mean, like, pretty realistic, those, those are pretty nice, so you can see the inside, the red on the inside, the badging, the, the front, the front's what is, where, where it's at for me. And we'll show the back with some of the detail. But yeah, this 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 thing's pretty nice. Rides a little bit higher. Huh, it's not bad. Now this one is probably one of my favorite as far as color. Hey, this this is a Pontiac GTO Judge. <laughs> Thank you. It matches my <laughs> eyes. From the peanut gallery but yeah look at this 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 mamma jamma right here this this gto i'm i'm all bowdy bowdy about this these are a little bit harder open than some of the hot wheels that i i've done before because i can usually just pop them open get them out and uh go to town you need some muscle to muscle uh, to muscle open muscle cars yes you do oh wow this one's got a nice little wing on the back look at that I like that. That spoiler on the back is really nice. And you got that top fuel badging on there. The GTO in the front. Iconic. Iconic. Now, um, I used to love the, the anime GTO. <laughs> and he drove a GTO. So yeah, this 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 is pretty pretty nice folks. This this one right here. It's nice wheels. I love the color really the most. Rolls real nice. Okay. Now, if you're not, if you're uh, someone part of the channel, you've come and you've watched me quite a bit, you know this one's probably going to be my favorite. And you're right. You you are right. This uh, it's not a TA, but it's a custom Firebird that looks like a TA. It's got the open engine like you see with the the ones that are in the main lines now. But what gets me is that 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 paint on here it looks kind of matte on it and it's, it's so nice i mean i've always wanted a trans am i can't get it oh wow this feels really nice in the hand oh this feels really nice in the hand like That's nice. it feels real nice in the hand like the paint on it's really nice the engine look at that folks the detailing in the engine. The front. The wheels. Not too much done in the back, but this one's got the plastic underneath. Um, this one, dude, this, this is my favorite so far. 
this right here and not and I, I know I'm biased and anybody who knows me and you know I'm gonna be biased but this right here this ooh, yeah I like this one doesn't roll as nice as uh, the other one the, so far the fair lane is the one that rolls the best man like that fair lane is is nice the, the Mace, Mustang is closest to it all right so the last one part that we're gonna open up is this 1970 Buick yes folks if uh, if you're not a car person and you're thinking about Buicks now, Buicks used to be used to have some muscle. The I Buick the Regal and stuff. Car, ever. Which Buick? I had a Buick Skylark. A Skylark, really? Yeah. Oh, you had a boat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you had a boat. And I had air conditioning in Texas. <laughs> yes, you need air conditioning in Texas. All right, here's the Buick. Now nah, a lot of a lot of people loved these Buicks back then, man. My uh, my auntie was a big uh, Chrysler fan. She always wanted her Grand Marquis. No, not uh, yeah. I think that was Chrysler. She always wanted a Grand Marquis, and my uh, her husband uh, he always wanted a Buick, and so I mean, iconic, man iconic but yeah that's the uh, american muscle um the these cars are pretty nice i hope you find them in your in in your walmart and everything i i i've stumbled onto these and i was surprised i didn't even know they were coming out um uh, if we're opening these up of course you know i'm gonna i'm biased this is my favorite but if you're somebody that's on the track uh, that you run down. I would modify this one. It looks like it's got a good amount of health already. The wheels on it are really nice. Um, this one's the heaviest, so if you, uh, probably one of the best wheels on it as well. But uh, that's what I got. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, always love you. Bye.